Hey there, welcome back to another voltage modular tutorial. In this video, we're going to be breaking down a modern aggressive neuro base patch using the new FM bundle. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe down below for more voltage modular tutorials, and if you have a suggestion for a future video, let us know down in the comments. Here we have the patch we're going to be using today, which has quite a few things happening, but is simpler than you might think. Let's take a listen to how it sounds. <laughs> If you want to grab this patch for yourself to try it out, you can find that with the link down in the description. FM synthesis is capable of a huge array of sounds, from the classic cheesy key sounds of the 80s to those modern, out-of-this-world screeching leads and basses and just about everything in between. For the sake of time in this video, we won't be breaking down this patch in exhaustive detail, but I wanted to show you a couple cool tricks and ideas inside of Voltage and with this new FM bundle that you can utilize to get some similar sounds or take this patch up to the next level. One of the more fun parameters to mess around with is the ratio control, the operators here. And this is a pretty basic parameter, but it can have a drastic impact on the final result. So let's try it out and take a listen to a couple of variations. Another simple but very powerful control is the amplitude level of the different operators. Now, I've tied this to a couple things within this patch, but one of the important ones is actually the performance macros. Up here in the top, I've got these two screech controls, which are tied to the amplitude of operator 2 and 3, and I can use these to dial in or automate the amount of that screechy metallic overtone over time. <laughs> As you can tell, even subtle tweaks on things like the amplitude or ratio can have a pretty big impact on the final result, making it really easy to quickly get a lot of variations with this patch in a very short amount of time. Over on the right hand side here, you can see that FM Station also offers a way to output the direct signal of each of the operators, and I've used this to create that gritty high-end noise with AM, or amplitude modulation. You can see this down here in the lower section. I fed some white noise into an amplifier, which is receiving CV from operator 4. Now, what this means is this is going to track along with the notes I play, so we get this crispy, tuned noise effect. This second amplifier is receiving CV from EG station. This way, I can control when the noise comes in in this bass patch, so I could have a little bit more attack to leave the noise for later, or have it come in right away to add some gritty, transient information. From here, I fed that into a bandpass filter, and I've macroed this up here to the top with the noise shaping control. This way, I can get some different timbres to the noise, where it's a bit darker and crunchier, or a bit brighter and more crispy. In order to add that cool metallic sound to this patch, I've utilized a chorus module, which is actually great for creating interesting scraping metal effects. What I've done is use this chorus here with a very high feedback, a really low time, and not really any modulation being applied. What's cool about this is the high feedback and short delay allow us to create these ringing metallic overtones that you can change over time. And what I've done here is actually just leave this as it is, but you could use the time CV and feedback CV inputs in combination with the EG station to change the character of the metallic tone over time. We can try this out by tweaking the time and feedback settings a bit. In order to give the sound some movement, I've added a distortion here to thicken up the sound a bit because I'm going to add a few filters, and this way we just give the filters enough sonic information to cut through to where their effect is going to be more audible. After this distortion, it feeds into two notch filters which are actually in series. These notch filters have their frequency being modulated by this mini LFO here as you can see, and then these feed out to this other amplifier here which is kind of our main core amplifier for this patch. This amplifier is actually controlling the velocity response, so if I play softer, it's going to be quieter, and if I play harder, it's going to be louder. That way we can just get a bit more of an expressive instrument, but the other key expression here I've used is this ladder filter, which is tied to aftertouch. This ladder filter here has a pretty low cutoff and just a little bit of saturation, and what this allows me to do is just get a variety of expressions out of this bass sound by simply adding some aftertouch and varying the velocity with which I'm playing. The other cool thing with this aftertouch expression is that I can also use this to create some wobble effects by simply pressing my controller and varying the pressure I'm applying. To finish off this sound here, I've got one final chorus module, and as you can see, it's just a very slow speed and a little bit of depth mixed in about halfway. Now, what this does is create just a fake stereo width and not really a 
classic chorusing effect. And what's cool about this is we can control that dry and wet blend to make it more mono or make it more stereo. As a quick tip, if you wanted to control this over time, what you could do is just add another performance macro. So we could right click on this, perform assign, and send it to knob five, and we could call this our width control. And there you have it, a really cool, modern, aggressive, screeching neuro bass sound with a handful of macros that you can use to create a bunch of one-shot basses very quickly. That wraps everything up for this video, so thanks for watching, and for more information on the FM Bundle or to try it out for yourself today, you can head over to the Cherry Audio Store.